Evolutionary Psychology, and Pickup Artists. Here's a short essay I wrote in 2013 about evolutionary psychology and the subculture of pickup artists, also known as the seduction community, the manosphere, or the red pill movement. A shorter version of this was published in Wired UK magazine. If you're a scientist engaged with the media, you quickly learn that you can't control who reads your research or how they use it. A few years ago, I was astonished to find that many members of the seduction community had read my book, The Mating Mind, about how sexual choices shaped our evolution. In their acronym-heavy quest for sexual self-transformation from average frustrated chumps, AFCs, to pickup artists, PUAs, these men had become avid consumers of my field, evolutionary psychology, EP, or EVPSYCH for short. Neil Strauss's 2005 book, The Game, mentioned a few ways in which EVPSYCH was influencing pickup artists by framing male-female dynamics in a Darwinian context. My friend David D'Angelo, a leading dating guru, told me, Richard Dawkins' The Selfish Gene and Matt Ridley's The Red Queen were the gateway drugs to EVPSYCH for me. It became clear that animals go through mating rituals and that humans have one as well. This led to unlocking some of the reasons why men who were successful at attracting women were able to do it with such counterintuitive approaches. Well, the counterintuitive tactics include not worrying so much about one's status, wealth, or handsomeness, but focusing on developing one's inner game, like self-confidence, playfulness, and risk-taking, and outer game, like physical fitness and peacocking with eye-catching clothes. The seduction community hybridized a Darwinian fatalism about sexual motives, that men are hardwired to seek casual sex and women are hardwired to be choosy, with a self-help optimism about improving one's sexual charisma. Baba Brinkman, a Darwinian rapper and pop science performance artist, explained, Pickup artists are only interested if they begin as conspicuously low mate value and turn their status around using the tactics. The subtext seems to be about the value of Machiavellian intelligence as a tool for subverting the usual mating market pecking order. Now, since The Game and The Pickup Artist, a U.S. reality TV series, the seduction community has become a vanguard of applied Darwinism. Pickup artists refine new seduction tactics modeled on the latest EVPSYCH principles and findings and trade field reports on which tactics succeed or fail through online seduction layers. The EVPSYCH enthusiasm has spread beyond pickup artists into mainstream male culture. Tucker Max, author of four best-selling books about his sexual adventures, told me, EVPSYCH greatly influenced me. I encountered it in college after reading Sperm Wars by Robin Baker. From there, I read as much as I could of Richard Dawkins, David Buss, Lita Cosmides, etc. EVPSYCH gave me a way to see the world that made complete sense and fit all the facts that I saw. Women, meanwhile, are appropriating EVPSYCH for their own mating goals. Cosmopolitan Magazine and Psychology Today bloggers routinely report new EVPSYCH findings and their implications for understanding men and relationships. Women are also growing savvier about pickup artist tactics and more skeptical about their scientific basis. Amanda Deans, communication researcher at the University of Connecticut, explained, pickup artists seem to draw on an evolutionary framework as a way of validating their problematic approaches to seducing women. They tend to depict all women as being essentially the same and women's sexuality as a passive response to men's actions, end quote. Some F-Site confirms sexual stereotypes and goes viral among pickup artists, but other F-Site overturns stereotypes and is championed by Darwinian feminists. The results are morally tricky. Today's dating scene has become a global, uncontrolled experiment in competing mating strategies. Science-minded singles have new levels of self-consciousness, not just as people, but as fitness displayers, mate choosers, gene replicators, and social primates. So men and women are locked in a runaway arms race of male sexual escalation tactics 
versus female commitment escalation tactics. Neither sex can afford for their game, their psych based seduction insights and skills, to stagnate. As David D'Angelo told me, pickup artists run the very real risk of becoming overly dependent on the techniques and shortcuts that, on average, tend to increase dating success. Many of them are like a person who wants to learn how to speak a new language, so they learn a hundred words in the language, then stop learning and use only those hundred words forever. End quote. To master this language of love, both men and women are supercharging their unconscious sexual instincts with the conscious lessons of Ev Psyche. With such high stakes, we evolutionary psychologists had better get the science right. <laughs>